Hey Aries, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is going to be your monthly reading for April. April 2020, what do we need to know? Spirit, oh happy birthday Aries. I'm sorry, that's why you guys get to go first. It's your birthday, it's your birthday. Happy birthday guys. All right, let's get into this. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? For the month of April 2020, for the entire month, what are the messages for Aries for the month of April 2020? What are the most important? Oh, I see it. All right, most important messages for Aries for the month of April. Wow, they just kind of flung out of there. Okay, I feel like they all needed to be here. All right, what else? What's most important here for Aries? Okay, I got it. Aries, monthly readings for April 2020. Okay. All right, let's talk, guys. We're going to go quickly through this. All right, somebody has a decision to make that is... Um, this could have already happened where somebody was tempted in one direction or the other as far as a decision. Oh, wow. This is a tough reading because, well, I wasn't going to go over every card, but look at this judgment card with the devil here at the bottom of the cliff. So the devil fell off the cliff and took other people down the, the road to hell with them. And then the others went up here with their angel wings and they did the right thing. It's in reverse. So this decision has been made already. Two of swords in reverse. Someone already made this decision. Three of Swords. This is probably not the best decision. Three of Swords. This could be painful for someone. This can be heartbreaking for someone. Right in the center of your reading, you have the full reversed. So um, I have to wonder if... Um, well, we're going to get into this because the center has to do with the whole reading. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. We have something here, Six of Pentacles, where we're trying to have a, a give and take, something that's very balanced in possibly the home life with the Four of Wands reversed. Something could be off balance in the home life, and someone's trying to bring a balance back to the home life. There's been a lack of clarity, King of Swords reversed, somebody could have lied. And we have someone here who's having a hard time walking away from the emotional baggage here with the Eight of Cups reversed. And Seven of Swords, somebody working quietly behind the scenes. Um, on the sly, kind of doing something uh, behind the scenes. It might not be the best of things. With this judgment and this seven of swords and this three of swords, I feel like someone made some kind of decision that wasn't in someone's best interest. Probably they made the wrong choice. They were tempted in one direction or the other. And we have the devil here. Temptation at its finest at the bottom of your deck. I feel, And again, with decision made. Someone made a decision that was absolutely not the right decision to make here now Aries this might not be you this could be someone around you it could be a Capricorn it could be an another Aries possibly it could be a Gemini Libra or Aquarius all right let's get into it so someone's made some kind of poor choice here all right we're using tarot of the 78 doors and now we're going to use um Oh, wow. Modern spellcasters. <laughs> I drew a blank. All right. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for this Aries monthly, re monthly reading for the month of April 2020. Please help us clarify. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to keep these under 15 minutes. I doubt it'll happen, but even under 20, I'll be happy. All right. What do, what do we need to know the most for this Aries reading for anyone with Aries placements or anyone else who's guided to see it here on YouTube? Please send through the most important messages for the people that need the messages the most for Aries, Aries placements, or anyone else um, for the month of April 2020 or whenever they're guided to see it and resonate with it. Please help me clarify the cards that we've already laid down here to get a very clear picture of what's going on. Let's talk about judgment in reverse. Why is judgment in reverse here, please? Why judgment reverse? This is a tough judgment card. It really is. And it looks to me like the decision was already made. So someone already chose either the light side or the dark side of something. 
Tell me about judgment in reverse, please. Aries reading for April. Wow. All right. Six of Swords reverse. So whatever it is, it's keeping someone stuck. Again, just like Eight of Cups reverse. Someone's made some kind of judgment or decision to keep someone trapped, I feel. Let me look at the Two of Swords reversed. Why is the Two of Swords reversed here, please? You have a couple cards here that show that some kind of firm decision was made here. What is this Two of Swords reversed for the Aries reading? Nope, didn't like the way that came out. We're not even going to look at it. Two of Swords in the reverse, please. Why is it here? Two of Swords reversed. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles to work on something. Now, this could be a work situation. Someone could have made a decision at work, but it's keeping someone trapped in something very toxic. Uh, or it could be something you've decided to work on, but it, whatever this is, it's keeping... Now, it's not you. It could be someone else. Whatever it is, it's keeping someone else trapped. Let's look at the devil at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Swords. Somebody's trying to get released from something very toxic here. Eight of Swords reversed. Tell me more about the devil, please. Yeah, some kind of truth is coming. And listen, so this is a huge sort of truth, though. This is the um, page of swords. But when I see this page of swords, it's like a huge moment of truth coming in about someone who's trying to keep someone trapped in something toxic. Three of swords, please. Why is the three of swords here, please? Aries reading. There you are, Aries men, King of Wands. All right, so with the Three of Swords, something very heartbreaking. Aries men, you're dealing with something heartbreaking, definitely. Now, if you're a lady, you're dealing with a man who could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or I feel Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right, what about the Six of Pentacles here? Why is that here? Again, some kind of truth is coming forward. Some kind of forward motion is happening here. It's going to bring balance in, though. Tell me about the full reverse, center of the reading. Yeah, somebody already knows what they want to do. See this Two of Swords? I love it. Unlike every other Two of Swords in almost every deck, where the person's usually blindfolded, they have the swords in front of their chest, they're totally confused about what choice to make. In this deck, she knows exactly what's going on. She sees it all. She knows what her choice is. It's hidden behind her back, and it's coming out. Two of Swords reverse. So, I feel as though <clears throat> what someone doesn't know is that the person you're involved with or you yourself, Aries, is not going to participate. You're not going to move forward with something, full reverse, and you've been hiding that decision behind your back. Seven of Swords, you've also been working quietly behind the scenes, behind this door, you know, in this deck, Seven of Swords has to do with working on something in secret. Just like this card, Decision has been secret. Let's get a look at the Seven of Swords. Why is it here for the Aries reading? Why Seven of Swords? Why is Seven of Swords here? Aries reading. Oh yes, yeah, somebody's been doing some healing, but that came out as a challenge. Four of Cups. In this Four of Cups, the person um, is sitting quietly meditating and healing from something it came out as a challenge listen somebody's been working behind the scenes but <clears throat> i feel mainly they're healing from something is why they're staying to themselves doing their thing on their own all right let's look at um four now this very much could be you aries that you've made a decision about not moving forward on something you haven't told anyone yet because the fool is an aries card and it's reversed. All right, let's look at the um, Four of Wands reversed here. Why is the Four of Wands reversed for this reading? Hierophant reversed. You're not going to reconcile. Look, we have here Four of Wands and the Hierophant both reversed. I will tell you that this Hierophant's never a good Hierophant. See how this one's a devil. If you see closely, they've actually got a devil tail back here. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see. It's very dark. Um, also, the other one has the moon behind her back. Secrets and negativity. The devil and the judgment reverse. Someone, 
I feel like someone is um, not going to reconcile a union that was toxic. Whatever this partnership or union was, it was toxic. And that's why the decision not to reconcile it. But I don't feel like they've told the other person yet. King of Swords reversed. King of Swords reversed. One more, please. All right, absolutely. Wow, my goodness gracious, this is big. All right, got the tower in the house here. Okay, so something's getting blown up. Aries, this King of Swords is you coming through as the Emperor. You're in reverse both times, King of Swords. And now if this is two different men, if you're in a same-sex couple or if you're in a business partnership or something, you're both in the reverse, King of Swords and Aries, man, the Emperor. Or, yeah, definitely. This is getting blown up. And it all has to do with the Nine of Pentacles. Someone wants to be on their own. Whether you're two men, whether you're one man and a lady, it doesn't matter. Whatever this union is, it was toxic and somebody's blowing it up. They just haven't told the other one yet. They want to be independent. What is the Eight of Cups here reversed? Why is the Eight of Cups reversed? Eight of Chalices. Yep, it's over. Listen, if it was third party, this is the um, Page of Cups, and in this deck, the Page of Cups is a third party. It came out reversed. It also has to do with there could be some kind of rejection, and somebody's ending this, death, and they just were having a hard time walking away, but they're going to. They're going to end it, and they're going to walk away. They're going to reject it, whatever it is. I want another one on the Seven of Swords, please. One more. Seven of Swords. Aries reading. Why is Seven of Swords here? Can we have one more card for clarity? Seven of Swords. Yeah, the wheel reversed. All right, so listen, somebody's busting out of this. Even though this wheel is reversed, I feel as though it's been stuck. There's a lot of cards of stuckness here. Someone made a decision to keep someone stuck in something or to keep themselves stuck in something. The death card, that's coming to an end. Um, you had stuckness with the six of swords reversed, the wheel reversed, the full reversed. These are all cards of I'm not going anywhere and the devil's always a card of being trapped in something toxic. And we can see here that someone's busting out of that because this is a stuck card to the eight of swords but it came out reversed. I feel like someone's busting out of something they were trapped in but they're not telling anyone they're busting out. It's going to be a last minute I've got it behind my back when I'm ready. When the moment is right I'm going to reveal it done not gonna do it I want one more on the um, full reversed please full reversed Aries reading yep absolutely I'm not moving forward Knight of Wands reversed Knight of Wands is all about full speed ahead not doing it full and Knight of Wands both reverse says I'm not moving forward I haven't told you yet but I'm completing this cycle the world this, this cycle's ending, and it's right in the middle of your reading, most important part. So, someone hasn't revealed this to anyone yet, but this cycle is ending. They're not going to participate anymore. They're just not. They've made a firm decision. Aries, men, you're coming through strong as um, being part of this reading. Ladies, I'd say fit yourself in here however it works for you, because you didn't come through... But it doesn't mean you don't exist. If you are dealing with a man or if you're cross-watching Aries men especially, you'll know more what this is about. Um, ladies did not come through in this reading. But I feel as though you're here. You're just, your card's not here. So keep that in mind. If you are same-sex men, this thing's getting blown up. If you're a business associates, it's getting blown up. Eight of Pentacles says this could be work. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of this deck says it could be work. This could have been a third-party situation at work. 
um, that had to do with, you know, business, all business, right? Or it could have been a relationship of some sort. Um, didn't have to be third party, although that page of cups did come out and that's a third party card. It doesn't mean it has to be. Either way, I feel as though someone is ending a, a karmic cycle. This was a karmic cycle. This all says karmic, 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 all of it. Okay, so it was time to end it anyway, whether it was work, home, whatever. Now, if you are male and female, one of you could be coming through in your male energy here, um, whether you're the Aries or the King of Swords reversed. So you guys can figure that out. Um, anyway, I hope this was helpful to somebody. We'll get you a few after tarot real quick. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for this Aries reading, please show us what comes next. What comes next in this um, situation for anyone who resonated with this reading? Aries. Aries reading for anyone that resonated. What comes next in this situation? Oh, shoot. Darn it. Sorry, guys. Too many. Oh, only two flipped in the upright, and they're really nice cards. We're going to keep them. The others, all, all were the others were in reverse. Give me one, I mean, in the face down. Give me one more, please. For Aries, one more card, please. I'd like to have three, or just one more. What comes next for anyone that resonated with this reading? One more card. Okay, again, same thing happened where two are face up, the rest are face down, and I'll put them back. All right, so all of the face up cards, look how beautiful these are. So we've got temperance and we've got the six of pentacles. Something's definitely getting balanced out, definitely. Look, we have here someone juggling, trying to figure out how to balance something, and then we have the balance come in, and here you are, Aries emperor this was a very normally it's odd because normally my readings are really focused on ladies and um sometimes they're focused on male or female and i try to explain to you both sides of the story this reading was so focused on the aries man something's getting balanced out we've got two of pentacles temperance and six of pentacles all of them show me the balance balance and more balance is coming in and we've got you, Aries. So you're going to balance something out. I feel strongly like you're the one who's not going to move forward. You're hiding it behind your back. You're ending the cycle. Done. I just feel like you're not ready to um, expose it yet or you're about to. All right? It's going to come along for you in April or, you know, around now. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Let me get you a couple angel cards. Angels, what do you want Aries or anyone else that resonated with this reading to focus on? And remember, guys, if, the, if you're cross-watching, just, you know, make it work however it works for you. Don't tell me it's all the opposite. Just sometimes when you cross-watch, you have to flip everything. All right? All right. And sometimes you have to do that even when you're not cross-watching. All right. Angels, what do you want anyone that resonated with this reading? What do you want them to focus on? Oh, one came spitting out. Okay, this is the one that flew out. Joy, gorgeous. This one flew out. Freedom, tenderness, and joy. Beautiful. Yes, your freedom. You are focused on your freedom right now. Whatever you're doing, you're keeping it hidden because you want to detach yourself from this toxic devil. Whatever it is. An entity, a person, a business, whatever it is. Freedom and tenderness. Love it. Joy's coming, guys. Joy's coming. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Please let me know if it resonated. Please comment down below. If you need a personal reading, all my information is in the description box right underneath this reading. Okay, guys, have a good month of April. Bye.